Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today we're gonna to be doing um, something I gotta to get to because it's getting out of order, and this is pro uh, probably, I mean, probably, this is exactly the propaganda that I'm talking about of fake YouTubers and a bunch of other idiots spilling out fake rumors to build up their clientele, just anything to put a video up to get uh, people to have, uh, you know, their view, you know, uh, to get views and subscribers and all this other crap even though they have like millions of subscribers sometimes i think they're being paid for it sometimes i think they're just doing it to boost up their uh their revenues or something just a like a sort of a a clickbait uh type of thing uh <clears throat> so i wanted to just be straight up with you so first off i'm gonna say um if you look at my videos uh, there, there's been this guy who went on my instagram and started attacking me apparently he's a youtuber one of these YouTubers, and he's been giving me, I mean, if you look at the videos, it's always like 11 dislikes. Now he's probably going to change it to like 9 or whatever. He made a bunch of accounts and pretty much uh, dislikes my videos, uh, all of my videos, not even knowing what it is. He's just disliking it uh, because what he wants to do is uh, he wants uh, to uh, basically tell me that I am not supposed to speak against them. I'm not supposed to speak about this and about that. First off, I built this channel for that simple reason, to give truth to the public, okay? And I've seen, I've got it myself, I've been tricked by uh, so many times, and I know so many people, like WWE2K18 when it first came out, many of us were tricked when these YouTubers, because YouTube said, uh, you know, that it's copyright to have music, what they would do is speed up the footage, and because they were sent this by Blind Squirrel or Nintendo, God knows what, and then they would make you guys think that the game was operating at full you know, full speed, then when you guys got the game, you guys all obviously sounded off about it and, you know, let people know that it was the biggest scam uh, that, you know, that was out there. And it came during the holidays and Christmas holiday of last uh, last year. And many people got ripped off. I mean, even kids were crying about it. Uh, and I mean, really crying about it. And they deserve to because, you know, for kids, they can't just go and just earn a little bit more money and get stuff. You know, they got this as a gift. They requested it from their parents and then they got scammed. So it's because of things like that, I opened this channel so I can provide honesty to the people. So these guys are trying to, uh, you know, if it's one guy or, you know, with the others, but I'm sure it's just him uh, who is trying to push the agenda, doing a bunch of fake uh, reviews, but also fake accounts and uh, doing the regular uh, thumbs down. That's not going to change anything because you're forgetting something. This is not my job. I got a job. Unlike you, I have a job. You understand that? So this is just something for, to give back to the public. This is the people's channel. And that is the reason why I do what I do. I don't do it for money. I obviously don't even have 5,000 yet in subscribers. I'm not making money. Okay, so the thing is, I did it for the simple reason of releasing truth to the public, to give information to the public so they can make good decisions. So instead of, let's say, buying those WWE 2K18, I'm glad I saved so many from doing that. Unfortunately, I can't save everyone. Um, people that jumped over end up saving their money for other games, and I was really happy about that because they would have been scammed. And really, today, that's the problem. There's so much misinformation right now, and we're going to segue into one of the biggest misinformations that are out there from this guy who I'm, uh, you know, who was talking to me, but also I'm sure he's the one preaching this too. But I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers out there, and not just that, but also forum people trying, you know, in the forum sites trying to get people to their Instagram to, uh, sc you know, scam people into this propaganda. Uh, I don't know who started this rumor and all of this, but I'm going to debunk this with absolute logic and truth so everybody understands this. But first off, let me just say uh, about the miniseries, keep those requests coming. I finished the miniseries for oh, anybody that's new to come here. I finished the miniseries, How to Build a Gaming Computer. The next one is obviously what I'm doing every Saturday night and uh, Sunday night, How to Build a Helmet. Uh, some of you guys liked it. Some of you guys said uh, you're supporting the channel. I'm really happy even though you don't like you know, 3D prints and stuff, uh, but I appreciate it definitely, and I hope that uh, you can comment and let me know what you think about it, because I might do a giveaway for also helmets, and I do giveaways, obviously, with the mini series, which I'm going to be giving away this Mario that holds a uh, Nintendo Switch and charges it, uh, and amongst other things that I'm going to be giving away, and the next one is how to build a, uh, a computer, you know, I'm sorry, a... Um, 
product production uh, for film work slash gaming slash productivity desk on the cheap and i'm going to be giving away uh two prizes uh the noob cybot mask and the, the scorpion mask so that's just uh to update people on what's going on here so keep these requests coming i'm also working on another mini series right now based on your request so keep those requests coming and for the games or technology or anything <coughs> you want me to review based uh, since i'm self-funded here based on the magnitude of uh, the request for that specific topic um i will make uh the video so now let's go back and segue let's actually segue right into this and this is what i mean by misinformation so apparently there's some misinformation going on on youtube on on forum sites and everything that supposedly hackers uh and not just hackers but anybody pretty much that modded their uh uh their nintendo switch uh, is going to get sued, is going to be put in prison, is going to be put in this, is going to be put in that. Again, when you want to increase revenue for said company who wants to, uh, you know, advertise or whatever, you got to back up the company that's paying you. That's how these guys work. So I'm going to here tell you that I am going to debunk this right now, okay? First off, there is some things that Nintendo has done, obviously, okay? They have sued ROM companies, okay? Especially one website that they sued for, I think it was $100 million, and then they settled for 12 And again, these guys are saying that... Um, uh, sorry, guys, got cut off. <clears throat> um, so basically, uh, they sued for $100 million, and then they settled for $12 million with this ROM company. A husband and wife, or boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever that was running. I'm not going to uh, say what website. You guys know I, I covered this in my other uh, site. Uh, that being said, you know people were starting to get really scared. Now, the $12 million was copyright infringement, and there was a reason behind that. They didn't have the disclaimer, and I'm going to go into that as well as I went into my other, uh, in my other uh, uh, channel. And this was over here in America, so because of that, it's easier for Nintendo to sue. If it happened in, let's say, China or in freaking Thailand or anywhere else uh, that doesn't have the same kind of copyright laws, Nintendo wouldn't be able to do these uh, lawsuits to... Uh, these uh, these people. Now, uh, what they did is they didn't put a disclaimer, like I said before, where if you own an original copy, you're allowed to keep a backup uh, um, copy of that specific ROM, of that specific game, uh, which is legal by law. You're allowed to keep a backup copy for up to 24 hours, as they said. Some people say forever you get to keep a backup copy and it says that they're not responsible and yada, yada, yada. If you're breaking the law, it's you who broke the law. So, um, basically, in a nutshell, they didn't put that, you know, disclaimer on. And because of that, uh, because that disclaimer wasn't on, they were allowed to sue. Now, some of these uh, fake YouTubers are saying, well, these guys didn't even make the 12 million. Again, they're aiding into the propaganda. First off, based on advertisement, these guys were yielding a lot of freaking money from the advertisement themselves. And now, what Nintendo did was they were smart. So, what they did is they attacked the advertising in that certain website. So, for example, they said, well, you're saying that, you know, you're doing backup copies. Okay. Okay, that's legal and their lawyer said but you're making money off it because you're not supposed to make money off it you're doing that through advertising okay now you if they would have put in the disclaimer we're providing a service uh, um, you know in their disclaimer we're providing a service that uh, has these games up for you to download and we can show you that we have and own these games and we have these as backups or whatever most likely, if they had the back, you know, the actual games, they wouldn't be held responsible, and they could say, "Well, we held the server to hold it for people as to make it more convenient." But the point is, they were making money. Now they could have said, "We made money for the servers, so we can continue this service and do it for free." They, they could have fought it, but the problem is, it wasn't in this disclaimer. So because of that, they got sued. Now, normally in a court, when you go to court, if they don't have a hundred million, obviously they're going to settle. For less, but you can't squeeze, as they say, milk out of a rock, right? So, if, for instance, if they didn't have the $12 million, they wouldn't be able, Nintendo wouldn't be able to get $12 million. They'd settle for much less. The thing is, this company did make a lot of money and a lot of revenue from the advertisements themselves. There's definitely no doubt in my mind. They had a lot of visitors, a lot of things. Something was going on that they were making a lot of money. That $12 million was a good settlement for them that they settled for 12 million dollars you understand that so because of that they did make money unlike what these guys want you to believe that they didn't so you would have this you know go hysterical and think they're coming after people who are poor and 
oh boy, you better go and you better do this and you better do that. No, that's bullshit. That's why they sued them because they were actually making money and they didn't have that in their disclaimer. They actually made money off of that. Now, another thing is uh, Nintendo recently sued a California man, as it says here, allegedly for rigging consoles and pirating games. Okay, so what these guys did on YouTube, they said that another guy was sued, who uh, was hacking his system. So we're going to go right into the actual website that if you guys could click on it, okay, this is on, uh, what is it, hollywoodreporter.com slash, you know what, I'm going to put that in the, in the, um, in the description so you guys can actually look at it but why even bother uh, even though i'm going to do it anyway but i'm going to show it to you guys right here okay the, uh what exactly happened again this is all part of the hysteria that's going on okay nintendo does want to send a message nintendo does want to push nintendo could go after anybody uh, for that even if what they're doing let, let's say if what you did is legal or you know there's a way for you to back it up they will take you to court as sony did many many times just to make a statement until you have to take off from work you have to take off from that unless you have a good lawyer and you can get them to cover it and you'll see they'll get off your back i'm not condoning hacking i'm not i'm not saying go ahead and hack your damn systems i'm not saying steal games i'm not saying do that but i'm saying if you're pretty much modding your system because of false promises that Nintendo made and didn't keep. For example, save games, and now you have to pay to save your games. Or other type of things that they're not doing, and you're, you're basically hacking your, your system just for the sake of homebrew of your backup games, or homebrew games, or, you know, regular homebrew games, or, um, you know, just a different uh, GUI, you know, graphic uh, interface or something like that that you want to be able to put your own pictures in the background. Things that Nintendo isn't able to do, they're able to do, but they don't want to do. Uh, you know, there's not, they can't come after you. And they usually don't go after people because it's going to cost them so much money unless they're looking to make an example. This was clearly an example. Uh, they know that they can't go worldwide in the market and press charges against everybody because everybody has a different version of what copyright is. Some of them even have copyright laws. And they don't really give a crap. They, you know, so it doesn't make a. It's not going to make a difference. Okay. But in America, they're going to say, okay, well, we got this guy, this guy, this guy. And we're going to take him to court. So let's just actually go over what this actual what this article actually says. This is a still right out of my um, <coughs> right, uh, you know, uh, basically right out of my uh, computer. I'm aiming it at my monitor so you guys could see. So it says Nintendo sues California man for allegedly rigging consoles and pirating games. Okay, so this isn't a regular hacker, and I'm going to show you now what what went on here. Nintendo says that the defendant is also instructing players on how to use the illegal components in a matter least likely to be caught or arouse suspicion. Now this, technically, you can't get sued for that at all. Even if you explain it, there's nothing that they can sue you for. It's just information. There's nothing on this, okay? Now, Nintendo is suing Orange, our, our, an Orange County, Californian resident who it claims is illegally modifying its consoles, and here it is, and selling pirated versions of popular games in violation of Digital Millennium Copyright Act. This you could get sued for. Pirates have found ways to circumvent Nintendo's hardware. Again, to be able to do something like that is not going to land you in prison. To actually commit copyright crimes is okay software features that make it uh, and they could take you to court for this as well of course but you're gonna win you get a good lawyer you will win this okay software features that make it so only authorized games can be played you see this right here is an issue but you know whatever and in uh doing so the video game giant says they're infringing on copyright and trademarks now this one you can fight it it's a toss-up who will win obviously good lawyers will uh, get you off but it's the pirated thing that leads it so right here Nintendo says one of those individuals, uh, whatever his name is, who it claims has been selling modification services for Nintendo, which is also not uh, Nintendo Switch, which is also not technically illegal. You could also combat this in court. That allow users to play unauthorized games. Again, not illegal if, you know, whatever. But has been selling, and this is illegal, NES Classic Edition systems that come preloaded with 800 pirated games. Okay? In addition to infringing its copyright uh, di directly, <laughs> Nintendo claims this guy uh, and countless other uh, currently unnamed defendants are also including users to infringe them and are liable for co uh, contributory, uh, what is it, copyright infringement as well. Okay, now trying to talk someone into 
committing a crime isn't a crime, believe it or not. Yes, they could take you to court, and yes, you will win, most likely. Okay, but what it is is, or even uh, setting up their system by modding it, okay, now they can go about it anyway. Nintendo could say, uh, which they're trying to do, which is now they're saying when you buy their games, you agree automatically to their contract, which apparently says it in fine print, that you can't have a copy of the game even if you if you own it, you can't have a backup copy of it. Again, this is, you can fight it in the Supreme Court in America, and you'll see that that is illegal. Nintendo could say that, but it won't. Uh, that is not legal under the... Uh, copyright law, you're allowed to keep a backup copy. I believe it was for about 24 hours, and uh, or now it's probably forever, uh, to have a backup copy of your certain game and so on and so forth. That's possible. Now, they could work around it, obviously, and do their own games through loopholes and stuff. As right here, you didn't really need a loophole. He was selling preloaded uh, uh, sorry, Nintendo uh, consoles with 800 pirated games. That right there is illegal. There's no way he could wiggle out of that. Defendants provide uh, modification tools, yada, yada, yada. That's not going to happen. But that's what Nintendo is basically saying. You're not allowed to have a backup copy. You're not allowed to <coughs> uh, mod their stuff. <clears throat> You're not allowed to do anything. Now, first off, uh, Nintendo is extremely stupid for releasing that Tegra chip when everybody knew already that was hacked. It was an open door. Anybody could hack it. And that's what pretty much led to their, you know, to, to it being hacked. It's common sense. Uh, that being said, they're going to have a revision two, which really, as I told you, is a really a revision three, uh, which is going to be, you know, an issue. Now, of course, uh, I mean, you know, which is going to be uh, closing a Tegra chip that is going to be closing all the doors. And of course, you never know till another hacker does it. Now, it's not. Uh, Sony has tried to take many hackers in the PSP days uh, due to PlayStation uh, uh, Portable, and obviously they didn't win unless the person actually was selling. Uh, pirated games and it's the same exact thing with nintendo they could take you to court a million times but it ain't gonna work You're, they're not gonna win uh because you know if you didn't do any if there's no evidence of you having pirated games uh so basically the issue with this guy was the fact that he sold 800 pirated games and the fact that he talked others into doing it is not going to cost them anything it might just be an uh, an addition but of course the other <clears throat> the defendant's lawyer is going to you know, fight against the plaintiff and they're, they're going to say, well, it doesn't matter. It's their responsibility. Yada, yada. You can't add, uh, you know, you can't add uh, to that so-and-so. And they'll just say, well, the only thing we could charge him for is the 800 pirated games. Now, for every game, I forgot how much money it is uh, to pirate. They could charge whatever the hell they want and they're, they're eventually going to get their, uh, their, a settlement out of it. But I don't even think they're doing it, obviously, for the settlement or anything like that. I mean, they need the money. I'm sure they'll take it. They're doing it pretty much just to send a message out. Hey, guys. We're trying to put the scare into everybody. Do not hack your your Nintendo Switch because they know that in there, you know, they they released um, a lot of people even that didn't hack their chips had it, uh, uh, you know, had it uh, bricked uh, due to launch date, as I told you guys before, based on my investigation. But the thing that really uh, rang um, uh, a bell right here was the fact that they were banning hacked systems. Uh, they were banning hacked systems from their uh, servers. So basically, also, I think that uh, you can't play certain new games uh, if you, let's say, hacked your system because you would have to download some update or whatever and it wouldn't let you play it. Uh, so that would be a problem until, of course, the hackers come out with... Uh, um, uh, what is it? Open source one, uh, open source. So uh, what, what do they call custom firmware, uh, if you will? So uh, until they release a custom firmware, which, uh, you know, in, in that time of course you would be able to play these games way later i mean just like in the psp days it was it took more time while everybody was playing it you had it about a month later uh, till you can play it and so on and so forth the thing is it's the pirated games that got these people you know in 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 the hot seat right here the pirated game so here we see all of the things that they uh that uh they're fighting against here against uh the defendant so uh right here dmca violation which is what happened copyright infringement well of nintendo games which is what happened a inductment to infringe copyright that's not gonna help them at all i mean again this is the stuff they're doing but i can tell you what's gonna work and what's not contributed uh contributory copyright infringement i highly doubt I, if their lawyer knows what he's doing i highly doubt they're gonna get uh in trouble for that trademark of, uh, and counterfeiting and infringement they will be busted for uh false designation of original false uh descriptions 
I don't think they're going to get anything for that. Federal trademark uh, dilution, I highly doubt they're going to get anything for that. Common law trademark infringement, they will uh, get that. Uh, statutory trademark infringement, they will possibly get that. California trademark uh, dilution, I don't think they're going to get that. Uh, demand for jury and trial, which obviously is going to happen, and they will make a big, big case out of it. Using these 800 pirated games and other crap that they pirated, or for instance, that uh, other one that uh, was making money off their website, as to send an example to people. Of course, they're going to try to market it through their lemmings, through their people that they're paying off, like some of these YouTubers, uh, that are going to send chills down your spine. They're also going to go on forums and send chills down your spine, claiming that everyone who hacked their switches are about to get sued, they're going to get sued, and so on and so forth, even though it is absolutely untrue. So, <clears throat> the only way you're going to get busted is if they can prove that you have pirated games. That's about it. If you're breaking copyright law, you will get busted. <clears throat> but again, they're going after these guys. <clears throat> and uh, basically to send a message, yeah, they're making money out of it. But they're sending a message out to say, hey, stop it. We understand that now us banning you from our servers, nobody cares. There's A lot of people are buying two switches because of that. They're doing one for hacking, one for that. And they don't want any of that <clears throat> you know, um, to happen. So what they're doing is, is now they're trying to flex their muscles. So again, from all of this list, some are, uh, are going to happen, some are not going to work for them. But again, they're doing this to send chills down their spine and they send their lemmings, their lapdogs, to do the same, the people they're paying to do exactly the same thing. So that is the false information ultimately about that. So guys, so in the end, what did we learn from this? There's a lot of false information going out. I am uh, always putting out truth in, you know, every time out on this. I don't like rumors. I don't like any of that. I don't release videos for the sake of releasing them. I release them when there's actual information to be told. And in this situation here, there's a lot of false information being given to everybody. So that's pretty much what it is. And that's why I made this channel for. And if anybody, they have to understand what they hit, uh, you know, when, when these so-called people that work for them are hitting dislikes, they need to also understand that it doesn't affect me. The truth will continue to be out there. It doesn't make a difference. You can make a million accounts and thumb down it. It won't make a difference. I will continue to issue the truth to the people so they don't make mistakes, so they don't become ill-advised as we have false information going anywhere from the news. You know, every type of thing we're getting false information these days that it kind of comes to us the independent people to go out there and make a difference by investigating what people are saying and not just take it at face value and just promote the hysteria okay it's not going to happen nobody's going to get in trouble unless they sell pirated games okay unless there's proof that they have pirated games and they are breaking copyright law and that's really all that it comes down to and that's really all it is as always guys self-funded if you want to help out this channel the people's channel as that's what exactly what it is uh be sure to like uh, this video subscribe hit that bell button and definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all of this commotion of all this nutty nutty crap that's going on right here i just want to know have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here. Be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.